Hey guys, it's Tom, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to cell render in Cinema 4D, like Blueprint, Wireframe Effect, and also a quick tutorial on how to fade something out in Photoshop without using the rubber tool, like a better way, I reckon. Just before I start, I want to show you three guys, one tutorial. <laughs> Great name. Huh? <laughs> Oh yeah, it's just a channel I've made with modern edits and alien effects, and we're going to do a tutorial every week in like a tricom, and it's going to be actually quite useful stuff, not just a joke, but yeah, a joke, but useful stuff. Uh, they're top of my box, if you want to check them out and maybe drop us a sub, that would be cool. But anyway, on to the tutorial. I've got the imaginative, imaginative, whatever, logo. That's where people first asked what it was, or how to do it. And um, yeah, and I'll just take off global illumination and ambient occlusion because you don't need them. Basically, so this is just rendering it normally. All you need to do is go into your render settings. It's that thing there, the one on the right. And you go into effect, and you go into cell renderer. Then you choose the background color. I usually do black, so I can screen it or whatever in our um, Photoshop or After Effects. Edge color, white, you can have it whatever you want. And if you want the edges to show like the lines on the curves, tick it. I'll show you the difference this is without. And then this is with. As you can see the difference. And that's pretty much it for that tutorial. And just render it out and save it wherever you want. But as for the Photoshop tutorial, um, a good way to fade is, I'll just colour the background, a colour, give me a second, yeah, not very nice, but oh. um, what you do is you want to marquee, make selection, pen tool, whatever, the area you want it to stop fading, I guess, so if I want to fade this halfway, halfway, I'll do that, this can be really useful for like, mixing pictures together and making it look really natural but you can test around with it but once you've selected it make sure you're on the layer you want to fade and then there's this tool here the square with the circle in it and you see it cuts it also if you don't want it to be faded anywhere else make sure you don't let the marquee select tool touch the edges of it I'll show you what I mean right yeah because it's selected around the text because I don't want the edges of the text to fade out if that makes sense, I don't know, I'm not very good at explaining but yeah, click that and it will do something to the layer it will cut it and then make sure that right black box where it shows you what's cut out is clicked it will have a white outline around it then go on to filter, then blur, then Gaussian blur then just move it up until you want it the amount faded which is quite good because you can choose the level of fadeness. I'll just do it there. Then once you're done, just click OK, make a new layer, and then Control, click the other layer, Control E, mix them together. So because the layer in the way it was, it doesn't let you do specific things. But if you make a new layer and make them the same layer, there you go. It's faded. I uh, hope that helps you out guys, and if you have any tutorial ideas, just leave a comment below, and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.